Hey there! Welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my Infinite Game Score series, and today we're going to be talking about Kingdom Hearts 2 The Final Mix. Kingdom Hearts 2 is the third game in the series, and as suggested by the name, a direct sequel to the first Kingdom Hearts. After a long hiatus, Kingdom Hearts 2 feels like a very welcome and warm homecoming. Like always, combat is a big component of a game for me, and Kingdom Hearts 2 does not fail to deliver. New aspects are added, such as summons, reaction command, and my favorite, drive forms. Summons pull from a vast cast of Disney characters and provide distinct advantages or attacks. Reaction commands have a bit of a bad reputation as, quote, let the game play itself for you, end quote. While I can see this argument, I don't completely agree. The cinematic action added to the game far outweighs any negative feelings I have about the simplicity of the reaction command. Now drive forms. Oh wow, do I ever love drive forms. I will admit that I ignored them for the majority of the game until I reached a fight that consistently put me in my place. It wasn't until my friend Sinchatus heard me complain about the fight that he educated me about drive forms. I was getting through the game, but at a severe handicap, and I finally reached the limit of my skills with the boss in the world that never was. Please, for the health and well-being of your controller, do not ignore drive forms. It was a horrible mistake that I made, and you should not repeat it. Combat overall is not boring. Now there are objectives like survive, defeat a number of enemies within a time limit, collect orbs, and more. The player is mentally invested in the combat instead of mindlessly spamming attacks. The story of Kingdom Hearts 2 converges all of the stray plots introduced by the games in between the first in the series and the sequel. This is no trivial task. The plot takes a more serious tone for a more mature audience. The story borrows a lot of good memories from the first game, but not so much as to feel overdone. It is okay to reference previous games, but it's not okay to lean on them like a crutch. I must say that it is hard to talk about Kingdom Hearts 2 without spoiling the plot. So, I will pose this question to you. Is the Kingdom Hearts series a battle for the mind, body, and soul? Maybe. But now let's just get on to the see the score. So, like every other game in existence, it gets three points for merely existing. One point for being physical and digital. The immersion was a lot better than I expected, so three points. Had multiple endings, so two points. The gimmick is still there, it's still Disney and uh, and Sora and all of the other cast, so gains a point. Voice actors in English gains a point. Game length. Uh, this game went a little bit above and beyond on game length, so three points. It didn't overstay its welcome then. Uh, story, two points. Level design, two points. Sense of progression. Oh, I'm, yeah, complete experience. Three points. Sense of progression, three points. Fairness slash punishing RNG, one point. Game value to MSRP cost, two points. It definitely met my expectations there. Choices and consequences. Uh, basically choosing your abilities, and it that was pretty significant. Two points. Soundtrack, two points. Finally. It, it just, it finally got past being repetitive. Um, visuals, two points. Difficulty, two points. Gameplay slash combat. Um, the new morale system and other objective-oriented combat was 
definitely a welcome sight, so it gets two points. Controls, one point. Again, remapping. Um, replay value, one point. Camera, two points. Unlockables and rewards, one point. And sense of accomplishment, two points. This brings Kingdom Hearts 2, the final mix, to a total score of 44 points. Um, guys, Kingdom Hearts 2 is definitely uh, an improvement over the first game. You can tell that they spent a lot of time uh, refining the engine for the game, uh, and they had that time to do so. Uh, definitely pick this one up. Give it a shot. If you liked the first game, you already know the deal. You're going to be playing the second game. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.